Sure, it seems as if someone had put a big necklace of diamonds out there, all sparkling and twinkling. Why, there's no end to it ever. Why, you'd think all the stars had tumbled out of the heavens into this one part of the earth. Oh, but they haven't, because they're still up there, shining their old heads at it. Don't it seem like we're close to heaven? Oh, I'm sure I'll never be closer. Ah, oh, go on with you. Don't be giving me any of your blarney. Blarney, is it? You say it's blarney when I speak of love. Believe it or not, it's no blarney. Love over here is as sacred and And as true in New York as Hillary. There's a lilt that I love in your laughter. You the bit of a brogue that's divine. It's the light of yourself that I'm after to be calling you falling online. Sure, in the blue of your eyes I can see Colleen. There's no Blarney at all, but just me love coming out into song. Blarney or not, when you sing like that, it's almost convinced I am. Well, then let me sing it to you for the rest of your life. Oh, Kathleen, in all this world, there's nothing means anything to me but you. Teddy, darling, when you talk like that, I could listen to you the whole night through. Hello. I, I can't hear you. Who is it? 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 Uh, hello now, who is that again? Oh, Moriarty! Moriarty! Oh, come right up. It's Moriarty and he's on his way up here. Who is it? Who is it? Oh, I say Mr. Moriarty, the boss of the war. Uh, come right up to you. Glad to see you. Why don't you live on the roof, Shannon? Well, when business picks up, we'll be moving down. Oh. I hope I'm not intruding. <laughs> now you hear the man. <laughs> Why, you know everybody, don't you? If I don't, it's because they've gone Republican. <laughs> <laughs> well, the chief will have his little job. How oh, are you, everybody? Patrick, what are you doing down in my district? Oh, I'm just visiting. Glad to see you. Ginty, since when has your beat been in the Shannon's flat? Ah, <laughs> <laughs> uh, Mrs. Shannon. How is your charming self? Well, I'm just grand and how are you? Fine, thank you. Now make yourself at home, Chief, and I'll get you a drop of punch. All right, my dear. What's all the celebration for? In honor of my niece. She just come over from Ireland. Well, 
then I guess that means another vote for me. Yes, and you can depend on that when the Colleen comes of age. Oh, she's as young as that. Yes, Kathleen. Kathleen! Uh, I saw her out here. Kathleen. I saw her. Here she comes now. Kathleen, I want you to meet Mr. Moriarty. Miss Kathleen. Sure, it's a pleasure I didn't know was in store for me. Oh, sure, and that's sweet of you, uh, Mr. Moriarty. And I'm pleased indeed to make your acquaintance. If Sigfeld could see you, he'd be buying up all of Ireland. And I'd be making me business if Sigfeld doesn't see you. Oh. Hello, Terry. How are you? I'm all right. Uh, here's your punch, Chief. Uh, thanks, Michael. Here's to the fairest Colleen that ever came across the ocean. And all of you. Stop it. Oh. <laughs> Mr. Moriarty. Yes. I want you to meet Granny O'Rourke. Sure. Uh, will you excuse me, please? Uh, how do you do, Mrs. O'Rourke? <laughs> Harry, isn't he the finest gentleman? Gentleman? <laughs> He's no gentleman. He's a politician. Politician? Sure, and what is that? <laughs> I'm afraid you're too young to know, Kathy. Ah, put your fool in and tell me. <laughs> Colleen, how would it be if I gave a big party for you next week at me home in Long Island? Oh, you're too kind. Not at all, sure. It's a great pleasure. And that goes for all of you. Oh, 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 oh. How do we get there? I'll tell you how you get there. I'll give you his advice to the next van. And I'll tell you, you've been to the Pennsylvania well. Station. Oh, we There's there. no use telling you how to get there. What's worrying me is bringing you home. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> boastful to say I look like an angel. Sure, the angels would be bragging if they thought they looked like you. Here, let me fasten you up. That's not a darling. How can I ever thank you for this? Don't be bothering now who's going to be thanked. But sure didn't you buy it for me? Now, there you go. Mixing business with beauty. Will you look at yourself in the glass? Oh, I know. It was Terry. Terry? Huh. Now I'll tell one. Well, sure, if it wasn't you, and it wasn't Terry. Now listen, child. In this town, it's of no importance where the dress comes from. It's what it looks like. But as Norm. Now, if you must make a fuss about it, it's your Uncle Mike that paid the bill. So forget it. Ah, oh, you... Oh, but it's Moriarty that'll be getting the eye strain looking at you. Mike, are you getting dressed? No, I am getting hung. Will you see who that is? Yeah, all right, all right. I, I'll never get this thing. <laughs> <laughs> well, will you look at that? <laughs> uh, well, you're not going to be making any head waiters jealous. Uh, says you. Says I. Mm. Who sent these? Uh, Moriarty sent a few. Twenty dollars a dozen. And I had her over to the Palisades, Sunday, picking wildflowers. What a sap I am. Ah, forget it, Kitty ain't sizing things up that way. Well, you couldn't blame her if she did. After all, the kid's human. 
Lay off and let her have her fun. But not with Moriarty. Say, what's what's wrong with Moriarty? Oh. You think you and him are cronies, don't you? Just because he invited you to his party. Well, don't get puffed up. It's Kitty he's after. Oh, you're crazy with the heat. You ought to be glad you're in the man's good graces. He can do a lot for you. No, he can't. I can take care of Kitty and stand on my own feet. Yes, but maybe he can show you where the standing's good. Uh, uh. Why doesn't Teddy like him? The boy is peeved. Because the law didn't make him blind. So he couldn't see you. Or to be sure, you know the reason Teddy didn't want to come to the party was he had no dress suit. Fiddlesticks. He can rent a coat and vest from Rosenberg. And he can borrow some blue pants down at the firehouse, should they match up great. Holy snakes of Patrick, I'd like to lay my hand on the fiendish haberdash and that sold me this hangman's nose for a necktie. <laughs> How do you like me, Terry? Oh, you're wonderful. Oh, Kitty, darling, you're so beautiful that it, it sort of scares me. Honest, it does. Scares you? Ah, oh, the nerve of me to think that I could hang on to a beautiful girl like you. Why, there ain't a rich man in all of New York that wouldn't be... Terry, will you see what that is? Yes. Mr. Moriarty's car, waiting for you downstairs, sir. Say, I thought we were going in my truck. We're not going in any truck when there's a car downstairs waiting to take us. The old tools is having cabbage again. Well, it smells all right. Well, indeed, we're getting all coffee and cabbage in the to do a ring or not? Well, uh, you ring and uh, I'll not. Wait in there. I'll tell Mr. Moriarty. Oh, isn't it beautiful? Look at the size of this room, will you? Well, you can drive a team of horses right through it. Aunt Nora, did you ever see anything like it? Glad to see you. Oh, hello, Bart. Oh, Mike. Mrs. Shannon. Sure, you're looking lovelier than ever. I'll go on with you. And how's the best plumber in New York? Oh, I'm all right. And the fair cousin. Very well, thank you, sir. It's a beautiful house you have. I'm glad you like it. Yes, Bart, you have some hut here, some hut. Well, it's a shuttle from the storm. Tell me, how do you like our little old New York? 
little you call it. Oh, sure, you haven't seen anything yet. Wait till I show you all the nightclubs and the theaters. Say, Moriarty, what was the idea of having us come so early? Well, sure, I just wanted a few words with the Colleen before the others got here. If you'll excuse me, now I'll run upstairs and get dressed. Sure, I, I owe you an apology for being late, but I was detained at the office. Now, folks, if, if you'll make yourselves at home, uh, sure, it won't take me long. Sure, if you want music, there's the radio, and if there's anything else you want, call the button. Oh, thank you. Yes, O'Toole was saying the butler stands right behind Moriarty's chair all the time he's eating. Ah, the big Irish show-off. Why, three years ago he was spilling soup down the front of his vest in the automat. But now, he must have a man stand behind him and spill it down his back. And likes it. Harry, you should be ashamed of yourself. He's a fine man. He is that. And he has a fine house. Did you ever in your life see anything like it? I did. Yeah, through a drain pipe. Now, that's all right now. But let me tell you something. This house ain't all that it's cracked up to be. There's a whole lot of mysterious things going on around here that nobody knows nothing about. Ah, quit your fooling. Well, that's what I'm telling you, and that's what I've been telling you all the time. I, uh... I think I'm going to like this place. Uh, uh It's nice and cool out here, ain't it? Yes, it's lovely, Teddy. Oh, look at the moon up there. Ain't it grand? And the same moon is shining over old Ireland right now. Don't you remember, Kathleen, how she used to come up a kind of sudden like over the willow trees and then smile on us? Ah, oh, yes. And go riding through the sky like the fine lady she is. Oh, here you are. Yes, we was looking all over for you. Come, Terry, give us one of your songs, will you? Terry, give us one of your songs. Terry, just Terry, won't you be singing something for us? All right, I will. <laughs> will you play Kathleen for me? They say a heart is made to ache when troubles make their call, and promises are made to break, sure tears are made to fall. So I'll sing my song with laughter, though tears Come right after, but don't you mind me, sure never mind me, Kathleen. My 
Say we drink to the health of our host, Mr. Maury Arity. I beg your pardon, sir, but the water pipe in the basement has sprung a leak. Didn't I tell you the plumbing was bad? Why bother me? Get a plumber. That's just it, sir. It's too late. All the shops are closed. Hmm. Well, that's different. Uh, here I am worrying about pipes and the best plumber in New York standing beside me. Terry, my boy, will you help me out? Well, all right, I'll fix it. That's the boy. Well, I'm glad that's taken care of. It's a grand, the Teddy, is he? I want to see if tell him what it is. There's your leak, sir. A leak, you call it? It looks more like a spring. Well, get me some tools, unless you expect me to sit on it. Yes, sir. What? Uh, no, sir. I'll get you some juice and make it snappy. Yes, sir.
lucky road to Dublin I was swinging along, singing a song Me joy, me heart was bubbling with Cordelia by me side And every time I gazed into her Irish eyes of blue I couldn't help but think very much that she was Irish too And sure, me heart goes back to Dublin Seems to carry me back to the lazy shack How I long to see her once again Just night before, dear, only to see Cardinia here along a rocky road to Dublin. <laughs> <laughs> By Killarney's lakes and fells, emerald isles and winding bays, mountain paths and woodland dells, ever fair. Very big and very empty. Empty, with all the grand furniture you have. Furniture doesn't make a home, Kathleen. No, but it helps fill up the corners. Except one very important corner. You know, I never realized it before. But I was quite content to live here all alone until I met you. Me? Yes. Would it be too soon to ask you to be my wife? You're 
with your wife. Oh, sure. I've loved you from the time I first set eyes on you. Every moment. And I'll never be happy again till you're the mistress of me home. Sitting like a queen at the head of me table. Wearing the beautiful jewels I'll be buying for you. With the respect and admiration of everyone in New York for the wife of Dan Moriarty. Oh, it's an honor, but Mr. Moriarty... If you'll only say yes, I'll make you the happiest girl in the world. I know, but it, it's so sudden, like I... Oh, sure, I wouldn't hurry you. Take five minutes to think it over. But, but remember, me happiness is in your hands. Couldn't you be making it ten minutes? All right, darling. I'll be back in ten minutes for your answer. Kathleen, darling, will you be wearing this if it's yes? Oh, it's the most beautiful ring I ever saw. Oh. And remember, my heart will be standing still for ten minutes waiting for your answer. Kathleen, the ten minutes are up. Is it... Is it yes? Sure. You're wearing it. Oh, Kathleen, darling, you've made me the happiest man in the world. Sure, I wouldn't change places with a king. What's the meaning of this? Tell me, boy. Congratulate me. I'm the luckiest man in New York. Kathleen's just promised to be my wife. Kathleen. Oh, Teddy. Sure, look at the ring as big as life. Oh, Teddy, aren't you going to wish us good luck? Why, of course I am, Moriarty. I wish you both all the happiness in the world. 
Oh, Terry. Terry. So I'll sing my song with laughter, though tears may come right after. But don't you mind me, sure never mind me, Catherine. My castles all are tumbling, each step I take, I'm stumbling, but don't you mind me, sure never mind me, Kathleen. Sweet memories you brought me from far across the sea, the love songs you taught me. Live in my memory. My love, you are forsaken. And though my heart, you're breaking. But don't you mind me. Sure, never mind. Kathleen, darling, we'll be sending for the little granny in the morning to tell her she's wanted for the grandest wedding New York ever saw. And Kathleen is married, not buried. Come see me soon, Aunt Nora. I will, dear. Well, Kathleen, my daughter. Goodbye, Uncle Mike. Good night. Good night, dear. Good night, Mike. Good night. Good night. Come on, stop your crying. What are you sure and come and see us soon, won't you? Yes, sure. Thank you. Good night.
Anything else, sir? Oh, that's all tonight. Come down. Kathleen, my wife. What's the matter, child? Sure, I'm your husband. Of course you are, but I... Who is it? It's James, sir. Well, what do you want? Something very important. Capito, downstairs. Capito, what does he want? He says he must speak to you. I tried to get rid of him, but I couldn't. I can't see him tonight. But he's determined, sir. Tell him this is my wedding night, that I won't be disturbed. Oh, yes, you will. What do you mean by coming into my house this way? Get off your eye horse, Moriarty. This is the time that you are going to listen, and I am going to do the talking. Yeah, yeah. I have to know who bummed off that kid in your world last month and lay off my gang. Why? There is a nice little black chair. We're still trimming, waiting for you. Get me? Well, good night. Pleasant uh, honeymoon. Is that you, Danny? Bring the car around to the front. Keep the motor running. Oh, sure. Sure, I'm sorry this happened. You must forget it, dear. Oh, I can't ever forget it. Oh, yes, you can, sure. I'll make you forget it. Oh, Terry was right when he said this is a terrible house. Terry! Oh, let me go! Kathleen, the ten minutes are up. Is it? Is it yes? Sure, you're wearing it. Oh, no. I was just saying if it would fit. I couldn't be taking it, Mr. Moriarty. Oh, I... Kathleen, I... I'll have to be leaving you. Get it. Don't keep me waiting as long as you did for this one. I almost drowned down here. Yes, sir. It's heavy. 
Kathleen, darling, what is it? What oh. happened? Oh, Teddy, I had a terrible dream. A dream? Sure, it's asleep you were. It must have been a cocktail. Oh, hold me tight in your arms and never let me go. Oh, Kathleen, darling, what is it? It's just that I love you, Teddy. Uh, now it's Blarney that you're giving me. Blarney, you call it. You say it's Blarney when I speak of love. Believe it or not, it's no Blarney. Love over here is as sacred and dear and as true in New York as Killarney. There's a lil that I love in your laughter. You've a bit of a broad that divine. It's the likes of yourself that I'm after to be called. Of my mother, and I'm loving. 